Many servicemen fighting in the Pacific ended up as prisoners of war. George Berg Munro was just 20 when he sailed to fight in Singapore in 1942 before he was captured by the Japanese forces. Now, George spent the next three years in prisoner camps, so long that his family in Liverpool feared that he was dead. Adam McLean has been to meet him. Surrounded by his family, 98-year-old George Bogue Munro remembers his time as a prisoner of war with the help of a book of his memories made for him by his son and granddaughters, from stories of conflict to playing football with his fellow prisoners. We made a pitch ourselves and we had teams playing at Scotland versus England and England versus Wales. Which country won? I've no idea. <laughs> and you said you told us that the Japanese wouldn't play because you beat no, them. No, correct. <laughs> George was conscripted into the army at 18. He later sailed to Singapore, where fighting was breaking out. As the country fell to Japanese forces, he was taken to Changi Prison Camp, where he was held as a prisoner of war. First of all, in, in it wasn't too bad, as long as you did the job. But when we got up further up country, uh, they just turned uh, nasty and set it out, be belting you with it, no bother. George had to undertake forced labour. He worked with other imprisoned soldiers on the notorious Burma Railway. More than 140,000 Allied troops were captured by Japanese forces and after long and dangerous days working, the chance to relax came with risks. We went swimming after the work was done and then we realised we, we were swimming in the same places there were crocodiles. And we, all records were beat getting out of the water. As a prisoner of war, George was being moved when the Japanese ship he was on was hit by American forces. We had no warning uh, and next thing we... American planes were over and road was hit and sunk very rapidly. Fortunately, I was one of the people that came up. And after being rescued, George was attacked a second time. <laughs> With a machine gun, and unfortunately, it killed a couple of our blokes and sank, sank the small boat. And we picked up again and then, of course, finished up in, in Manila. George was rescued from Manila by American forces in 1945. Age 23, he returned home, surprising his mum and a family who feared that he was dead as he'd been gone for so long. Now, as well as writing his memories down, his granddaughters have captured some on video. Have you got any stories? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Nothing ever happens to me. The man who says nothing ever happens to him recovered from COVID-19 in April. George will mark his 100th birthday next year. Adam McLean, BBC News. George Bogue Monroe, what a fascinating story, fascinating tale.